Got Jacob Wright now from uh, from Wyoming. Been wrestling real good, and he's going to have Alex Hornfeck of West Virginia. Looks like there's a deduction and a team point for Iowa State or Fresno State. Okay, Fresno State. Excuse me. He he threw his headgear, so point deduction for Fresno State after that win for Parco. <laughs> Jacob Wright comes in of Wyoming as the uh, number five seed. He's in the red ankle bands. Um, he's going against Alan Hornfeck of West Virginia. Still no control yet. Hornfix trying to dig that underhook. Um, Wright's been wrestling real good. He uh, had a good tournament at the Cowboy Open over there in Stillwater. Uh, wrestled a, a very tough Wyatt Sheets and uh, beat him in the finals. He's in it on a shot. Jacob Wright's in on a shot looking to finish. Edge of the mat, no control. Just like in, on uh, Deegan, hornfeck has got the leverage, and it's uh, you're going to have to deal with it and get through it. It's a lot of these guys are really good about using that leverage. Still 0-0. Zero, zero. we got a minute 14 left. These guys are like fighting for position. <laughs> Nothing yet. Right in on a shot. Looking to finish. Sets him to his hip. There's control. There's two. First two comes in a minute. A little less than a minute in the first period. It's 2-0. to zero. Jacob Wright. Jacob Wright's actually undefeated on the year. He's 4-0. Um, he's had a good season. Like I said, he won the Cowboy Open out there in Stillwater. Uh, beat a very tough Wyatt Sheets in the finals. Got 29 seconds here. Uh, looks like he's got a chop. He's trying to gather up the wrist. He's going to want to ride Hornfeck out. <laughs> Thirteen seconds. Like I said, it's kind of an odd year. Um, these guys haven't have not have not met. And that's kind of the case on most of these matches. Which in a, in a normal year, um, you would be wrestling uh, these guys maybe multiple times throughout the year. So that adds a new element in here to this this tournament. You know, this, these guys are seeing each other sometimes for the first time this year. Two to nothing. Wright chooses down. False start on Hornfeck. Okay, it looks like we've got an issue with the clock right now. Trying to work that out, but there's still a uh, a caution on Hornfeck. Here we go. Looks like they got it fixed. Getting ready to start back. It's a 2-0 lead. Starting in the second for Wright. Wright's getting back to his feet. Getting set down. Hornfix real tough on top. He uses that leverage. He, he's very dangerous. Likes to crab ride, likes to stick legs in, cheap tilt. And very tough wrestle on, on bottom. Wright's getting his hips in his position. 
They're doing a count. He's in danger right now. It looks like they're going to award the points to Wright. He gets two points. Now he's actually got the legs split. He, he can come turk those legs and actually get some exposure points. Nothing yet, though. Hornfix trying to fight back to his belly. and What you want to do is get to your belly and slide forward. It looks like that's kind of what he's doing. He's on the edge of the mat. He's controlling Wright's wrist as well. So Wright, Wright doesn't have any option to go up underneath his, his collar and, and, and work up and split the legs. About 58 seconds, 4-0 lead by Wright. Still here on the edge of the mat. Looks like Wright's got a leg in, trying to work the legs. 37 seconds. Hornfeck needs to get off the mat and try to get a new start. He's turning into the leg. I, to me, it, it, he just needs to get a fresh start here. He needs to get off the edge of the mat, get a fresh start, and get himself a shot to put a point on the board at the end of the second. 20 seconds here. Um, Wright just wants to, you know, ride this out, um, get into the third with a 4-0 lead. Got eight seconds. They're back on their feet. Wright's doing a good job of keeping that toe in. He, he kept that toe in for about five or six seconds. Now we've only got one second left going into the uh, second. It'll be going into the third, but there's one second left in the second period. Wright's got the advantage. He's winning four to zero. Hornfix cho choice. He chooses neutral. You know he's got a he's down four zero, and realistically five zero with the riding time. Um, he's looking at maybe doing something going to a, a feet to back, which in college you can score six from a feet to back. Um, score anywhere up to six points so he's trying to take his chance there and see if he can't uh, you know, maximize where he can score his points but Wright's still the aggressor I mean Wright's faking Wright's going in and out he's still the aggressor in this match a minute 28 here Wright's in on the shot there's a warning called for green that's kind of showing how aggressive Wright is. I mean, Wright's the guy with the 4-0 lead, uh, and he's still firing shots left and right. Right in on a shot again. He's looking to finish. He's looking to pull it up. Changes directions. Dumps him to the other side. Two points right. 6-0 lead. He's got the lap ride now. He's trying to work it in. Now he's cutting him. He's trying to get some extra points here. We've got a 6-1 lead, which ultimately is 5, but with the riding time at 6. So if he gets a takedown, he gets a major decision and bonus points for his team. Uh, we talked about that earlier, about how bonus points are huge for this team race. So he's trying to, trying to get another takedown here to make it 8-1 with riding time 9-1, but there's 20 seconds left for him to do it. Hornfeck in on a shot. We got 10 seconds left. Wright spins around. He's trying to finish here. These guys are in kind of a 50 50 position. Time. So he does not get the uh, major decision. A 6 1 with riding time. A 7 1 decision for Jacob Wright of Wyoming. He beats Alec Hornfeck of West Virginia.